Hello my friends, today we are talking microscope adapters and how to use them with your camera. This is a macro microscope adapter. I have a few of them around, they're just these tiny little things, very powerful, powerful tools and cost about $20 on Amazon. Now there is a way to make them work with your cameras, DSLR or mirrorless. You can use them like this. This is a 3D printed adapter. I got it from someone on Reddit. And if I find the link, I'll put it uh, in the description below if you decide that you want to order yourself one. Or if you do have a 3D printed or a friend that has a 3D printer, that they can make you one of these things. But don't go and order one yet. Wait to see what else I have to tell you about it. You can also um, get the same results using extension rings. Now let's talk a little bit about it. What makes this four times magnification? Well, it's about the distance of the you know, objective from the sensor on, on the camera. And it has to be a specific amount of millimeters in order to get to four times magnifications. I don't know what the number is. So before I got this adapter, I was using these objectives. But what I did do, I was just using extension rings. And I have a few extension rings in here put together. And the one thing you need to do is this adapter. This will help you screw in your... Um, microscope lens if it's right into it. I'll put the link of this below. It's from Amazon. It costs pennies, but really it's not expensive. And then you put this into your, uh, and then you put this into your uh, extension rings. And this one at the bottom, it's a different extension ring. You see it has, a, it extends so I can make it shorter or smaller. And I love that because if I make it longer, then the objective is further away from the camera sensor and it gives me a greater magnification. Now notice it's not as long as the one that you know I had 3D printed, so it won't give me four times magnification. I could add some extension rings and get four times, but I found that this one will give me, when it's not extended, it gives me around 2.5 magnification. When it's extended, it gives me a little bit over three magnification. And this is just plenty for me. I don't need any more than this. Now, let's go outside and see if we can, you know, take some photos with this crazy contraption and if we get any kind of, you know, photos that it's usable. For, um, you know, when you take four times magnification, you definitely need to use a flash because you will not have enough light. So for that, I will be using my Godox V1 with my AK diffuser. So let's go in the backyard, see if we can get some photos and we'll talk afterwards. Well, that was a disaster. Um, number one, it's very hot outside. It's about 90 degrees and humid, full of mosquitoes that they were trying to get me. I was trying to photograph bees and I was afraid they might sting me as I had to get really, really close to them, almost touching them. And one other thing is I was having a hard time focusing because it's a little bit windy. So when you are four times magnification, you really have a, such a shallow depth of field and I just couldn't focus where I wanted to focus. So we came indoors and we'll do this again indoors this time. I have two subjects for us. I have a dry flower and I have a piece of cardboard. This is just some fine glitter cardboard that I stole from my kid's um, drawer. So let's see what we can we get. I will start with the glitter because I have the feeling this is going to make a great, great Christmas background. So maybe I'll shoot a few colors of this uh, glitter cardboard. As I said, very fine glitter, but with four times magnification, you can really get some beautiful backgrounds, beautiful bokeh. So I will photograph this and if it looks good, I will photograph a few different colors and give it to you as backgrounds for Christmas. So let's see what we can get. For uh, just so you know, you cannot adjust aperture. This is just an F4. 
and I have for my flash 132 power. So let's see what we get with that. Um, I was right. It gives you beautiful, beautiful Christmas uh, backgrounds. I'm very, very happy with this. And I do have glitter in all the colors. I have it in red. I have it in green. So I'm definitely going to work with this. Yes, very, very nice. I love it. Let's move on to our next subject. For the next subject, I will use this specimen holder. This is very hard to get by. I ordered this one from England, but I do know how to make these ones for cheap. So if you're interested, just let me know and we can make one together. Where did I put my flower? There it is. So let's put this in here. I use these guys a lot. Stem is too big. Let's cut it shorter or break it. There you go. And uh, yeah, let's see if we how close can we get and what kind of image can we get from this. I am sorry, I am still dripping from outside, so I'm a little bit gross. Let's see, there's some dust on it. Gotta move those away. All right, let's see now. As you can see, you have to get really, really close in order to focus. And this one, I think we are just too close to the subject and it's too dark, so I have to increase the exposure to 1 8 power. Let's try this again. And that looks better. It doesn't really look like much because this flower does not have really anything interesting going on in there. It's just a dry flower. But the glitter was definitely a success. So, which one should you get? Should you get one of these things? Well, for the price, I say, why not? You can take some really cool studio shots. Let me just take my flash off of this thing. Now, I will have to tell you this 3D printed adapter. I was very, very hesitant to attach it to my Sony A1 because it is all plastic mount and it does not feel that great to put it in there. So. I don't know if I can recommend it. I mean, you know, it's great to have four times magnification, but I am afraid about my camera, where when you use extension um, rings, it's, you know, so much more, feels a lot better. Let's see if we can get, um, let's see if we can get some of that glitter photo with these extension tubes. How well can this work? And I can never get this lined up, there we go. I'm gonna make it to the longest setting. Move this out of the way. Move, I need my flashback. All right, let's see what kind of shot get this. I need to turn on my flash and I'll go back to 132 power. All right. It's looking great. So I say with the extension rings and the $20, um, you know, lens, you can get some beautiful, beautiful high magnification macros. So I totally recommend it. I'll try to put in the description below all the things that you need to have this kit. And um, yes, thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I'll see you on my next video.